practice these little in behavior. So let's say the in behavior is as x goes to infinity. So as x goes to the right, f of x goes to negative infinity. So that goes down. We have zeros at negative 2. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So double root of 5. So it's going to bounce at 5. And then at negative 2, it's going to be a triple root. So, if we want to write a function, f of x, it's got to be x plus 2 being tripled, and x minus 5 being doubled. So remember, this is x plus 2 as a factor, x minus 5 and x minus 5 is being squared. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that makes sense because we have an odd degree. And because it's going down and to the right, it's just like a negative line, so we need that. Finally, um, let's pretend this opens down isn't here because we don't necessarily know that it opens down. But as x goes to the left, um, f of x goes up, so it's going to go up to the left. x intercepts 1, 2, 3, 4. 0 is a double root, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So ignore the opens down. It's going to go from the upper left, going to cross at negative 4, double root at 0. Let's go through 5. You may, can make this one go down a little further because there's a little bit more space there. So f of x, this is x plus 4. This is just a factor of x, if you want to, or x minus 0 and x minus 5. And so I'm going to write x first, and then it's double root, x plus 4, and x minus 5. So this is really what we're going to do in the next section. You're going to create a function in factored form. So this is negative 2. This is 0 and 1, 2, 3. So x plus 2. x is a factor, x minus 0, and x minus 3. None of them are special. There's nothing um, other than just crossing going on. And so I'm going to write y equals our x, and then I'll do the x plus 2, and then I'll do the x minus 3. Now I just want to double check with degrees. So it's 1, 2, 3, degree 3. So that makes sense, it's odd degree. But it's going down and to the right, and so I need a negative out front in order for it to be correct. This one. It's going up both directions, and so this has got to be an even degree at negative 2. It's a triple root, and so x plus 2 is going to be raised to the third power, and at 1, it's a single root, so I can make x minus 1 a single root. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4 for our even degree, and that works y equals all that. Because it opens up, it's got to be positive. Let's try another. This one opens down, so this has got to be an even degree. That is negative, because it's both going the same directions down. So at 1, 2, 3, at negative 3, at 0, well, that's a uh, double root, because it's coming down in tangent, and at 2, it's a single root. So this is x squared for that one. x squared, we said it had to be a negative one, so I'm going to stick a negative in front of the x squared. x plus 3 for the minus 3, and x minus 2 for the positive 2. And finally, 
this one contains a point, one negative two, and so we're gonna tap tag that in there. This is negative one. This is zero, that's a double root. And this is two. The point one negative two is in here, one comma negative two. So what that's gonna add to is that it's gonna give us a, a multiplier out front. to make sure it goes through that point specifically. So x squared is a double root, like we said. Um, x plus 1 for that one. And 2 is a double root as well. x minus 2 squared. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that makes sense because it's going opposite direction, so it should be an odd degree. And we notice that it should be a negative a, but I'm just going to put an a out front here, because now plug in negative 2, 1. This is x, this is y. So negative 2 equals a times 1 squared, 1 plus 1, 1 minus 2 squared. So 1 squared is 1 times 2 times 1 minus 2 is negative 1 squared. So that's really 1. That's negative 2. And positive 2. So a equals negative 1. So rather anticlimactic that it just made it negative, but you can write y equals negative negative 1 x squared x plus 1, x minus 2 squared. And that's our function. Congrats. Happy graphing. Make sure you find the degree in behavior, positive, negative. And make sure you treat those double roots and triple roots as you should. Double check, triple check your answers. I may have made some mistakes here.